What? I got first place yesterday. I've never been more stoked in my life. But something that's not very stoking is these camera batteries don't hold a life. And it's really, really annoying. This one was charging all day yesterday. And then it was in my bag, still plugged into the charger. And I don't know if that drains it or something, but it is dead. So I can't even do a little car talk right now. But whatever. I'm too excited to care about some stupid battery problems. First place. I was not expecting that at all. But you know what time it is? It's breakfast burrito time. Oh my god. It is pouring rain. <laughs> Jesus. What a great day to pick up something. Yeah. What's up, Mario? What up? We're going to pick up a picnic table I built. Oh, you built two it? Two years ago? Nice. Two years ago. Which way? That way, Jeeves. There we go. Yeah. This is Mario. He's helped me out uh, get this picnic table. Clutch moment. And yeah. we're going to get soaked trying to get this table in the truck. Man, I cannot tell you how excited I am to hold this right here. Like, that is so awesome. I went there thinking that I was just gonna be shooting video and lifting some weights for fun, and I came back with a win. I haven't won a competition in so long. Uh, back in high school, I won a lot of wrestling matches. I was a heavyweight, and this is awesome. So, and you know what? I want to use my nicer lens to do the rite of passage debrief. Let's pop that thing out. What can I say? I mean, that was an amazing competition. Not just because I won, but because of the environment, the atmosphere, kind of everything that went into it. Uh, Big Mike, the owner, has put a ton of work and has created an amazing facility. Uh, I can't say anything bad about it, honestly. And he himself is also a really awesome person. Not only does he, as he reached out and provided work for me, uh, being a new videographer, uh, he is also just, he goes out of his way to make sure pe people that need help or assistance are getting the help and assistance they need. I won the competition in the men's division, which is amazing. Uh, the way this worked out was all weight classes were in the same group and they used the Sinclair formula to determine a winner. So basically it was a pound for pound battle. Uh, usually that's not good for a big guy, uh, which is pretty exciting. Like I was literally rolling up my knee wraps, listening to the third place winner, the second place winner, and then they said my name for the first place winner. I looked up like, what? Are you serious? And I uh, walked up there and you know, fist bumped Kendrick Ferris, fist bumped Oscar Chaplin, and then cracked a joke because I was still in my singlet and made everyone feel awkward. And it was amazing. So let's talk about, you know, how I feel. What, how did that go for me? What do I think? You know, there were some positives, there were some negatives for me personally. I felt really strong on my snatch and on my clean and jerk. Typically my clean and jerk feels pretty weak. I don't know if it was the, uh, the rush getting up on a Alico platform and lifting with Alico bar plates, having a crowd in front of you, like your adrenaline gets jacked up and I felt strong on the clean and jerk. Warming up, I did not feel strong. I actually had planned to do 365 on my opener and I ended up doing 345 because of how I felt. Uh, of course, then I did 365 for my final weight and it felt like butter. It was kind of heavy, but I felt like I 
totally could have gone for a PR, which would have been over 365. So that was the positive. On the negative side, which isn't a big negative, it's just me personally, um, I didn't hit my PR snatch, which is exactly what I wanted to do going into this meet. I wanted to hit 320 and hit it proud because I missed it three times for the liftoff competition and I just, I needed to hit it. That's the beauty of a weightlifting meet is you only get that one chance. Unless you hit a comfortable weight, like if I opened with 315 uh, and then moved on to 320, I could try twice. It's, it's beautiful and it sucks. It sucks because you don't get to keep trying like you do in a CrossFit gym or like in a lifting meet or a competition, CrossFit competition where you have like a time domain to do it. But it's beautiful because it's like, you've got that one moment to hit it. And if you don't hit it, maybe next time. Uh, so we're looking at next time for that one. So I didn't hit the PR and then I'm definitely, I regret not trying to go for my opener. Because it went up so easily on my third weight, I probably should have done a little bit more on my opener. I think I actually did 350 on my opener. Or was it 345? I think it might have been 345. And I did 352 and then 363. So those are the positives and negatives. Not really crazy. Honestly, I, I feel like it was way more positive than it was negative. Uh, the only negatives are just criticisms for myself that I'll try to do better next time. Um, and I will definitely do a weightlifting meet in the next year because that was so much fun. And I hope that uh, SPS Gym throws a lifting meet that's for people who have done meets. So they're definitely gonna do a rite of passage again. Uh, but I hope that they do like another legit meet that I can sign up for. So let's talk about the meet itself. Like I want to provide a recommendation. If you're local in the San Jose area and you CrossFit or you're currently training in Olympic weightlifting or you just love weightlifting, like you're not training hard for it, you're not really training for CrossFit competition, you're not training for Olympic lifting competition, but you know the lifts enough to sign up for something, you should sign up. Even if you're not local and you're close enough to where you can either drive or it's just like a three hour flight, like I would, I would fly several hours to do this meet. If it's your first time, it was a $50 entry. If you're not a USAW member, you do have to sign up and that's also $50. And then you have to get a weightlifting singlet. An all in expense of about 160 to $230. That, in my opinion, is well worth it because you're not just going to some random gym that decided to dedicate a space and tape it off and make it a lifting competition. No disrespect to those. I'm just thinking like for $50 to sign up for a weightlifting meet, you're gonna lift on a Leco platform, lift with Leco plates and bars, uh, warm up with Leco plates and bars, and feel like you're a part of something as big as the Olympics. Now here's the the kicker, like, I went in without a coach and I'm pretty sure at least 70% of the people who signed up came without a coach because that's also a beginner's thing is like, you don't know, you you do need a coach. Like, you, don't, you can't go into a weightlifting meet without a coach and you should have a coach who knows what they're doing. Um, Cause if I hadn't had Mike, who, uh, Big Mike is the owner, this is, I would call him Little Mike right now. Big Mike assigned him to me and he helped me figure out my warm up and helped me understand what my next lift should be after my opener. I would have just warmed up like a CrossFitter. I would have started a 20 minute EMOM that would have ended right before my opener and I would have done 20 lifts before my first lift. I handed him the piece of paper. He said, here, write down what you want to warm up and we'll go from there. I wrote it all down. He looks at me and he goes, you want to do all this? And I'm like, well, I mean, that's what I do. So uh, I don't want to do it, but that's what I've always done. And he's like, we're going to skip a few of these lifts. And he was correct. He was totally right. Um, I've never felt that strong or prepared for a lift than that. Um, and that was huge. Almost anybody who needed a coach got a coach. They uh, had Oscar Chaplin, who's a two-time Olympian, out there helping people with their warm-ups and their uh, attempts. And then they had Mike, they had two other coaches who were just helping out and helping people prepare. So 
that just shows you like this gym is built to be a positive business, a business that's welcoming, a business that's getting people the tools they need to succeed. So that to me was probably the biggest factor in having an amazing time at the Rite of Passage 2016. I feel like I missed some topics or I do what I typically do and that's I rambled and kind of jumped from topic to topic, but that's what I do. If I planned this, it would be too robotic. Let's see if we can recap really quick. I won, super awesome experience way more positive than negative. If you are looking for a weightlifting meet to sign up for and you've never done one before, Ride of Passage 2 is for you, if that's what they call it. SPS Gym is an amazing gym and if you are local enough to have them to where you can just drive there uh, any given day, you should check out their membership and get going. I wish I could. I live 40 minutes away. That's definitely out of the question. But if I lived closer, I would be signing up like three days ago, but a month ago, but as soon as they opened. That's what I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's throw on the wide lens to you end this video properly. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, like. And if you'd like to file a complaint or send some good vibes, leave a comment. If you know someone who might like this channel, share. But until tomorrow, I'll see you later, crew. So I'm gonna have Sarah put big man syndrome right here. Pay to the order of big man syndrome. I hope that comes in. Ooh, I'm tanning. Ooh, look at that bounce. Oh my God. That's all I need. Poster board. Wow. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Now hit the subscribe button. And then hit the like button. And leave a comment because I love to talk to you guys. But most importantly, hit the the share button and here's why because we're trying to get more subscribers and the more subscribers i have honestly i don't know why so here's why you should share my video i'm gonna do karen unbroken that's why you should share this video if you share this video you're gonna punish me by making me do 150 wall balls straight through with a 20 pound ball, 10 foot target. So, I mean, I would enjoy watching myself doing that. So, <laughs> thanks for watching today. Now, go do something else. But until tomorrow, I'll see you later, crew. Oh, I messed up. It turns this way. Until tomorrow, see you later, crew.